Well, welcome to the class, uh, Computer Science 172 Introduction to Computer Modeling. My name is Tom Gallagher. I'll be leading this uh, online section of the course. One of the things, one of the technologies that I rely heavily on are webcasts, and this is the first of uh, many webcasts that you'll find in this class. So what I'll do today, I'm going to um, go ahead and, and just kind of go through the Moodle shell with you. I want to uh, uh, maybe review how the shell set up. I want to go through the syllabus. I want to go through the schedule. And then we have another learning management system that comes uh, from Pearson with your textbook called My IT Lab. I'll introduce that as well. All right, so what I use uh, in the, the Moodle shell are called Collapse Topics. And if you click on these little topics that show up here, they will actually open up and there'll be more information in them. All right. And the very top one, of course, has uh, my contact information, syllabus, course calendar, and all that. Let me give you a quick example here of what a lesson looks like. So I take all the, the uh, material from the classroom and, of course, break it down into units. And then in each unit, there's a lesson. So here's lesson 1.1, which is open for you to go ahead and start working on. It's introduction into my IT lab installation. And these are set up as little books. All right, so on the left-hand margin here, you'll have uh, different sections of the book. Um, there's always an introduction. There's uh, uh, some learning outcomes, usually some reading or some multimedia uh, um, material for you to follow, and then there'll be an assignment that I'll have you do in that lesson. Expect every week to find about three of these lessons that you'll need to complete, all right? Um, Walking through this here a little bit, here's this right here's the screencast that you're watching right now. It's it's embedded using a YouTube video technology, and there'll be some other maybe some notes, and then um, maybe at the tail end here there'll also be um, you know a little activity for you to do. Okay, so that's kind of the basic setup. The way that uh, Moodle's organized is that you can move back up a layer across the uh, the kind of middle margin here. So I'm going to click back up to the uh, main page for the learning management system. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the syllabus here. I'm going to run through that quickly here. Okay, so syllabus. Uh, this is a three credit class. Prerequisite is uh, is algebra. You got to have algebra to uh, really work effectively with spreadsheets and the topics we're going to color cover in here. My office hours this semester are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 10 to 11. Please recognize that you're always welcome to come see me. I know it's an online class, but that doesn't mean that you uh, can't stop by the professor's office and, and get some help if you need it. I'm also available uh, if you, you are outside the area and you want to Skype. I'm more than happy to Skype with you. Uh, I can provide a Skype ID and, and we can communicate that way. Sometimes telephone calls are helpful. So all that information is there. But recognize that email doesn't always get it done. And, and I'm a big advocate for, for other forms of communication as well. All right. Um, let me move down this. Please read through the course description, course overview, and the learning outcomes. Um, one thing right here is the required materials. You got to get the textbook and you need to get it right away. And I'll, I'll follow up with an email with this information on it. I would encourage you to buy the textbook from the bookstore. We've created a, a custom textbook, pulled a bunch of material out that we aren't going to use. And by doing so, I think we've lowered the overall cost of the, of the textbook. The really important part here is it comes with the MyIT uh, Lab simulation software. And if you buy them separately, I think you uh, I think you end up spending more money. Okay, so keep that in mind. The other thing is this is a software-based class. We're going to be using uh, uh, Microsoft products here, so we're going to use uh, Excel and Access. Please recognize these topics we're covering, these concepts we're covering, can be used with any spreadsheet or any database. Uh, this happens to be the most common, I think, today, so that's why we're using it. Uh, they can be purchased from the bookstore uh, as well, and I think you get a big discount as a student. I, I'm not sure exactly what the price is, if it's 60 or $70, but it's really a pretty good buy. I'd encourage you to pick up um, the 2010 version. There's a couple things in the 2007 version, if you do have the older version, that you will not be able to do for this class. Um, yeah, so, I, again, I encourage you to upgrade to that. Uh, I also I always have a USB storage drive around. It's great to back up your things. You also have, um, you know, through your your University of Montana account, you have some cloud storage um, 
you know, and you can put things up there as well through your your uh, your university email account. So uh, you might want to check that out as well. Uh, here's always an important one. Everybody wants to know how am I grade it. Here's here's the four areas that I I grade on. Um, first, you'll ha you'll have some skill building exercises, and I, I weight this the heaviest because this is like showing up for class and doing your work. Okay, um, they're in my T lab. They they uh, allow you to practice. Uh, what what's actually um, the concepts that we're covering in the class and they mirror if you look through your textbook they mirror the uh, hands-on exercises that are found in there also be doing a, a chapter then each chapter uh, chapter assessment in this particular uh, w with with this particular assessment tool what you'll do is you'll download say a spreadsheet um, you have some instructions where you'll, where you'll be asked to um, do some different operations and uh, once you're finished, you upload it back to the My IT Lab uh, system, and it actually grades it for you. So you get immediate assessment on that, or immediate feedback on that assessment, which is really, I think, a nice thing. Um, those have to be done. I don't think you can do those on a Mac platform. You'll, you'll only be able to do those on a PC platform. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more down, down further in the syllabus here. I uh, also have unit projects that I'll have you do. These are ones that, that are um, some exercises that have you go ahead and, and uh, you know, follow some directions and again maybe use a spreadsheet to uh, you know, perform some different operations and then when you're done you upload it to Moodle and then I go through and grade those. Okay. Um, there's also there's a comprehensive final exam. It'll be multiple choice and it will, um, it will cover some, some different concepts, some vocabulary. Um, and so that's coming up and we'll, we'll talk about more when we get to it. Um, I have a little section here on academic conduct. You know, go through and read this. Uh, I, I, I read this out loud to you because I think this is really uh, I, I misunderstood from time to time. Uh, collaborating is great. You know, if you have troubles with something, sit down with somebody else in the class and, and collaborate with them. Um, but you need, to, you need to do your own work. You guys know that. Copy and paste is uh, is not acceptable uh, make sure you do your own work make sure you type in your own assignment uh, the other thing I have here the chapter assessments uh, there's no collaboration on those kind of consider those as like an exam and of course the final exam uh, so those uh, collaboration on those two activities are uh, completely forbidden and then I'm, I'm a little less helpful on a chapter assessments than I'll be on uh, maybe the mid-level exercises okay uh, if you if you're uh, if you're gonna leave the class here you don't want to continue class make sure you you understand that you need to drop it so you don't get charged for it so you don't get a bad grade all those things uh, if you do have uh, any sort of disability it's been diagnosed please let me know if uh, you're gonna need some accommodations I'm more than happy to give you accommodations Usually uh, technology takes care of that in online classes, but if there's something special you need, please let me know. Um, I, I'm going to skip down. I got a little section here called how to succeed in the class. Okay, and I got kind of a short list, so um, bear with me. I read through this here. The things that, I'll, I'll, that I've seen, and I've taught this class for a lot of years here, that, that other students uh, struggle with. Um, number one, make sure you read the book. You buy the book. I'm going to refer to it. We're going to use the book. Um, fairly heavily in this class. Uh, make sure you take the time to read the chapters and read the material because I think your understanding will be um, much greater. A lot of folks like to jump right to the assignment, get it done and move forward and I think that works for a little while but sooner or later that's going to catch up with you. Uh, number two, this Moodle um, learning management system we've set up, you know, we spent a lot of time putting it together um, and trying to, uh, you know, kind of enhance it with some multimedia materials and all. Make sure you read through all that stuff. Watch the videos. Uh, they have little demonstrations, little webcasts or screencasts of, of all the uh, different functions we'll cover and, and uh, different exercises. So make sure you, you read through those. Okay, uh, we try and keep them pretty short, under 10 minutes, most of them. A couple of them run a little longer than that. Number three, make sure you complete the skill building exercises. Those are really uh, advantageous in, in uh, actually practicing and doing something and, and rather than just watch the, the uh, uh, concepts you read about, you actually get to do them. The last one, I, I, I use a, uh, a little metaphor here and I say chop wood. Okay, what does that mean? That means uh, get the work done. All right, it's a computer class. Um, 
but you'll have due dates to, on, on all your assignments. I update the classroom shell on a weekly basis. Uh, there'll always be new material out there. The way I, I structure the class, um, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll have a little chunk of uh, material for you to cover. Expect to spend about two hours on each of those, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending upon uh, your, your, uh, your abilities and comfort with uh, working with technology. Uh, but don't wait till the weekend and say, okay, I'll get all this done on Sunday. I'll just tell you, working with, uh, you know, as this a fre freshman and sophomore uh, students, that, that's a bad uh, road to go down. I think you'll find that um, that's going to be really, really difficult. Okay, so there's the syllabus. The other documents I'm going to have, oh, wait, I got one more page here. Sorry about that. There's also a, a topic outline. I say that this is subject to change, but really this, uh, this is pretty accurate of what we'll be covering in this class, okay? And so uh, basically there's some introductory materials and we cover uh, six chapters out of Excel and, and four chapters out of Access. All right, so let me, let me get to the other document here I want you to look at. There's also a course calendar. I'll show you what that looks like here. Course calendar is a uh, you know just kind of a you know weekly schedule. Take a look at it. You can see what lessons 1.1 refers to lesson 1.1. So you have work to do right away. Okay, and again the big issue here: make sure you get your textbook. All right. The other learning management system we'll use is called My IT Lab. It's it's created by the publisher. The URL for it is just myitlab.com. Um, there's lots of information here for students. You'll need to create an account. Um, once you create an account, um, you'll, you'll need your little code that's found in the back of your textbook. That code allows you, that, that, that gives you, um, that, that basically is your subscription that shows that you've paid to use uh, the textbook and, and this particular software. So go ahead and you'll need to set that up on your home computer. There's instructions and I've left instructions in Moodle on how to do that. And you also need a course code so that we all get in the same, the same classroom. That, too, is included in the Moodle shell. Okay? Um, let me show you what my IT lab looks like. So once you get in there, you'll find that there will be um, you know, a variety of different folders. There's, it usually pops you into this today's view. All right, I'll put a little message up here, but don't don't email me out of this. Uh, our our official uh, learning management system is going to be Moodle. I, I don't put announcements here. I put them in Moodle, so I'll just put a little generic message in here to use Moodle. All right, and then if you go to your course content here, um, this will be I'll I'll activate these and deactivate these. You do have an electronic copy of the textbook here. You do have some material here in this folder that shows you how to get started with My IT Lab. All right. Um, I'm going to go down here to just one of the exercises. If we get into the um, office fundamentals here, you'll see I've left you four kind of skill-based, hands-on exercises. Um, go ahead and do those. Okay, they, they mirror what's in your textbook. If you read through that section out of your textbook, um, you'll find that you, you read a section and you get to a little point that says, all right, now I want you to build, do this hands-on exercise. Rather than do the hands-on exercise in a textbook, you do it in here. Okay. All right, I think that's all I have for you today. I, I, uh, I hope you have a, a great experience in this class. I think it's a pretty good online class. I think it's fairly well organized. Um, other students have had really good experiences here, and I think it's very applicable to uh, everything that you'll do either in your academic career um, or, or your professional career as well.